Well, she's in good company. There are other famous women besides Mary Bethy who were born in 1922. Uh, one is Ava Gardner, uh, oh, one is Judy Garland, oh. and one is Betty White. Oh, oh. oh. Yeah, she's so white. That's right. Um, just turned nine. Alexander <laughs> Graham Bell, the inventor of the telephone, uh, passed away in 1922. Um, she was born into the era of prohibition, speakeasies, and flappers. Uh, Al Jolson, Fanny Bryce, Babe Ruth, Charlie Chapman, Buster. They were the celebrities of the era. Warren G. Hardy was in the White House. The average household income in the United States at 1922 was $991 a year. A dollar in 1922 was like $13.50 today. Uh, if you went to the grocery store, you would expect to pay 25 cents for a dozen eggs. 47 cents for a pound of bacon, 12 cents for a loaf of bread, 55 cents for a pound of butter, milk was 56 cents a gallon, flour was 31 cents for a five pound bag, sugar was 35 cents for a five pound bag, and you could buy a whole watermelon at Piggly Wiggly for two cents. <laughs> when you went to the gas station, it would cost you 18 cents a gallon to oh, fill up your Model T. Cents. A new Chevy half-ton pickup was $650. If you bought a good used one, it was $57.50. Now, I'm not sure where they got the 50 cents. But, uh, anyway, uh, that was an ad that I pulled up online. And the most popular car of the day, of course, was... Uh, Henry Ford's Model T, and you could buy, buy a brand new spanking new one for $400. Uh, important events that happened in 1922. Benito Mussolini came to power in Italy. Yeah. Lincoln Memorial was dedicated in Washington, D.C. Howard Carter discovered King Tut's tomb. The first insulin treatment for diabetes was used in 1922. And of course, over in Chicago, Al Capone was running the mob, and he had a summer home in southern Michigan, not very far from where we're sitting. So World, World Series champions of 1922 were the New York Giants. Now, for all you Cub fans, this is a real importance. You need to listen very carefully. The highest scoring baseball game ever to happen anywhere happened on August 25, 1922. 49 runs when the Chicago Cubs beat the Philadelphia Phillies 26 to 23. Wow. Wow. That's a real pitching duel on that. Boy, that's a lack of pitching. $15,000 to start a company called Lacogram. And he was in inspired in 1922 to create a tame mouse like the one he had in a kid, as a kid. And of course, he named him Mickey. Uh, Mom lived on a farm all of her childhood, helped with chores, worked very hard. My favorite story of Mom is the story of her and her brother Bob burned the barn to the ground. Uh, following her days of vandalism, she graduated from high school in 1940 from Madison Township High School. She went to work as a, at, a, at Ball Band as a secretary for a man by the name of Mr. Kenny Keene. World War II was, uh, began in 1941, as you know, and gas rationing, I don't know how many of you remember gas rationing, but uh, she didn't, couldn't get enough gas to drive back to the farm every night. So she had to do the next best thing. She rented a room on 3rd Street in Mishawaka. And she met a young chemist from Chicago in 1941 by the name of Jean Bethy, who was also working at Ball Band. Now, this is where the story gets really, really interesting. <laughs> he also rented a room with a co-worker at the same 3rd Street rooming house. I don't ask any questions. You know, uh, but anyway, they got married, which is probably a good thing, on April 24, 1943, 
and they moved into the same house that mom lives in today. They were married for 63 years before daddy passed away in 2006. Uh, I arrived in 1948. And I guess they decided they couldn't have another perfect child. <laughs> they produced quality, not quantity. <laughs> Mom enjoys friends, being with friends and family, taking care of her kitty, playing around the house. She's active in her church, and she's still a very good driver. Yeah, Happy birthday, Mom. <laughs> Please join me in a spirit of prayer. Mm -hmm. 